The story of Sura. Not much is known all about Sura's early life aside from the fact that she is best friends with her fellow classmate, Chitas. Sura began to participate in street fighting after watching Ryu win the first World Warrior Tournament. This takes place before her role in rival schools, united by fate. Skipping school to search the world for Ryu, Sura embarks on a long journey to find him and become his student. Along the way, Sugat notices her techniques are similar to Ryu's and demands she tell him where he is. She doesn't know herself and comments on how rude he is and the two fight. In her individual ending, Sura remembers when her and Ryu fought each other and requested him to be her master. Ryu refused, saying that he still has much to learn himself. Before he left, Sura asked if she could at least take a photo of them before he left as a keepsake, which she is seen reminiscing over on her way to school. As she's walking, her best friend shows up and cheers her up before having to dash because they're late. At age 16, she was still fighting, and decided to travel the world to find Ryu. She started off in her native Japan and fought the sumo wrestler Rie Honda, who mentioned Ryu was going off to such places as India and Thailand. She also fought a rematch with her rival Karen Kanzuki, and though Karen won the fight, she admitted Sura was better and she had learned winning was not everything. Thereafter traveling with her sensei, Dan, she met his friend Blanco along the way and was promised a match with him. She continued to search the world for Ryu, eventually ditching Dan and finding Ryu's friend and rival Ken. She commented to him how she loved to fight to better herself, and finding inspiration in those words himself, Ken and Sura eventually found Ryu in Thailand where he was actually being brainwashed by M. Bison. Sagat had come by this time to find the scene as well, and as Sagat took on Ryu, both Ken and Sagara took on Bison. A combination of Sagara screaming for Ryu and Sagat surgings finally snapped Ryu out of the mind control and he defeated Bison, destroying him temporarily. He told Sagara then he was not ready to train her and fight a rematch with her yet, and walked off, with Sagara watching him go. She then realized that there was something really special about Ryu, but she didn't know what. Sura returns to fight again, still searching for Ryu. Sometime after the end of the Second World Warrior Tournament, she confronts Dan about whether he knows anything about where Ryu might be. Dan, not wanting to appear out of the loop, says that a new tournament is rumored to be about to start, and that Ken will be participating, speculating that Ryu will also be there. Ecstatic, Sura immediately runs off to enter. She, Dan and Blanca depart on a cruise ship on which she endures a grueling self-imposed training regime. During the tournament, she actively seeks out Ryu, eventually finding him in the SIN building in the midst of destroying the Bless project. The force of the struggle knocks Sura unconscious, and she awakes to see a triumphant Ryu standing over her. The two escape from the SIN building in the midst of explosions, which were probably Vega's doing, and run into Dan and Blanco along the way. After the tournament, Sura and Ryu exchange goodbyes and she leaves for home on the ship. In her ending, a slightly older looking Sura is shown walking with her dog in an area near the overpass when she sees Ryu approaching. Sura appears in the last part of Karen's character story where she is warmly welcomed by Karen upon her return to the Kanzuki estate. She says that she was happy to hear from Karen's steward that Karen wanted to see her and fight her in a match as part of a friendly challenge. Sura states that Karen hasn't changed, as the two girls are ready to fight. Sura is last seen in Ibuki's character story and the two are seen having a conversation with each other with their cell phones. Sura informs Ibuki about the party invitation sent by Karen which Ibuki didn't read yet. She also informs her that she can't come to the party because of conflict schedules before hanging up. In Karen's party at the Kanzuki estate, Karen also mentions Sura due to Ibuki being as Sura's friend. In Blanca's character story, which takes place around the same time as her own, Sura steps in when Blanca accidentally broke the arcade machine. After the battle, Blanco apologizes for breaking the machine. 
Sarah tells the arcade manager to put Blanca's Blanca Chan dolls inside the machine. Having graduated high school and now going in university, Sarah now works part time at an arcade named Plaza Capcom, but wonders what decisions she needs to make in order to be satisfied with her future. After a match against Karen, Sora asks why she always picks a fight with her for no reason, to which Karen replies that a fight with Sora is the best way to test her skills. Sora states that neither of them are kids anymore and questions not only if their fights are the best way to use of their time but also if becoming stronger is the right way for her to live. Karen wonders if Sora would say the same thing if Ryu was present, to which Sora gets excited and asks if Karen has seen him. The latter explains that she saw him during a recent crisis when she summoned a group of fighters from around the world, and that she is certain that Ryu is still draining. At her workplace, Sora thinks about how she wishes she could see Ryu again, but realizes how she must continue at her part-time job and not travel around the world at a whim like she used to. She goes back to work when one of the customers notifies about someone going crazy at the arcades. On her way home, Sora thinks about her life and future when she bumps into Ryu who mentions that Karen summoned him because of Sora. After a fight to ease Sora's mind, Ryu praises her for growing stronger and more mature. Sora asks Ryu about his life, stating that no matter how strong he becomes, he will eventually grow old and die, wondering if that's the right life for him. Ryu asks if she means he should take on the disciple to carry on his skills to the next generation, stating that he is still in training and can't take one. Sora says she meant having children to create new bonds in life. Ryu replies that he never thought of it but consider it another type of strength. Sora agrees and thanks Ryu for his answer, now knowing what she wants in life. In a short awkward moment, a slightly embarrassed Sora quickly corrects herself by saying she is not planning on having children right now. 